Hi, today I am going to teach you how to successfully upload a scene from a movie or a full movie onto YouTube. Now this can really come in handy when you see something really great on TV and you want to share it, but you don't want to have to videotape your computer screen because no one wants to watch a video of a video. So you have five basic needs. The first is just a laptop or a computer. Then you will have to have a YouTube account, which is very easy to create a YouTube account. And then you will need a DVD disc. The next you will also need OBS Studio software, which you can just download from the internet. And then you will need a media player. I have Power Media Player, but I don't think it really matters which media player you have, as long as you have one. <clears throat> so. The very first step you'll have to do is just inserting the disc into the DVD player. Very easy. Okay, so then next you're going to go to your media player and choose your scene. Or if you're just going to do a full movie, you start at the beginning, obviously. So if you're going to just do a scene from a movie, I recommend rewinding about five seconds before your scene starts to give enough time to edit it. Then, after you choose your scene, minimize that and go over to OBS Studio, and then I will tell you what to do once you're in OBS Studio. So the first thing you're going to do is open up OBS Studio, press um, Start Recording, which I've, I've already done, but make sure that your mic slash auxiliary is turned off. You do not want to be able to hear any little noises that your laptop makes, so keep the desktop audio on, the mic off. Then you press start recording, then go over to your media player. Make sure that your volume is set where you want it to be because you do not want to be fidgeting with it during your video. And when you press play, make sure that it's in full screen and that your mouse is out of the way. So I'm just going to press play and it'll look like this on YouTube once it's up. So make sure that you don't do ha ah, like that because it's in the video. Make sure your mouse is always not being touched while filming. So then once you're done with that, um, wait like five seconds um, after your scene ends to press pause just to make sure that you got the full scene. Then you're going to press stop recording. And so then right now, after you're, you press stop recording, you go to file and show recordings. And if the video is under the date it was um, taken, so you're going to want to rename it to not get it confused with anything else. So I'm just going to name um, this Good Neighbor Sam. So that's from the movie it's from. And that's all you have to do with OBS Studio. It's just that simple. So now you have your movie clip. So what you're going to do next is go to YouTube and log into your account. Then you're going to click on upload video and then browse for your file name. Do not publish your video yet. You're going to want to do a few things first. Once you're in YouTube, do not press publish quite yet. You click on video manager and then you're going to be in a new tab and you click on try studio beta. And then once you're there, you're going to click on videos and then click on the video you want uploaded. Mine's this demo video. And then you click on editor. And so then you can trim the video by pressing trim and trimming it. And you're going to want to um, trim it as you desire it to be. And so then adding an end screen is um, pretty cool. That would be um, apply template. And then you can like do, I usually do two videos or playlists and you press apply. And then, um, sorry, it's not popping up. All right, there it is. So then this is me the most recent upload and the best for viewer and you can just put it anywhere you want. And then I usually try to send it towards the end of the video so it doesn't interfere with the main video. Then you're going to press save and it'll and this will pop up videos being processed and this can actually take a while. Um, I'm just going to show you what to do next. So then once your video is trimmed and you've added an end screen, you, all you have to do is from here you change it to public or private however you want and your video is up. That's all you have to do. Knowing how to do this is a really cool tool to have because it's not just for movie scenes. You can also just really videotape anything off of your computer screen and upload it to YouTube. 
So I hope that this video is helpful and informative and you'll be able to use everything that you learned today in the future.